He's probably going to try to get the first killer in the middle. And NIP, the classic four cameras, they just want to rush first pro down. And let's see what they've got to offer here. DP will snack Neo and snacks on Banana, quickly pushing down with Get oh. Right, will meet them. It's going to be shots fired in the middle, and Neo gets the better of Get Right. Freiburg down to one point of health as well. That's a perfect start for Virtus Pro. And you can see that they are locking down the apartments. There is Taz and Beary waiting for them. But NIP, they have other plans, and it's got all going to be on Pasha to stop them. Here comes Pasha, headshot onto Forrest, pulls back. Taz helps him out with the frag on the Freiburg, and now it's at NIP. Finally stopped by Fifth Laren's frag, but he'll go down, and Exis finds himself in a one versus four, and Exis must be kicking himself in this game, because every time we come to him, he's in a one on three, a one in four. And yes, He's getting a lot of stream time, but boy, is he in trouble. And it's Virtus Pro who pick up the pistol round. And boy, oh boy, if you didn't believe they could win this game in two, you better start thinking about it. Well, you can see that Virtus Pro, even though they, lost, they win, sorry, the pistol round, they are extremely calm. They know that they must not hype too much. They must not go too confident because NIP. No matter what, they can come back, they can win rounds and unexpected rounds. So Virtus Pro are doing the perfect thing. They are very calm, they are just playing their game, outpicking their opponent, and that's what they did. Freiburg had one HP since the very beginning of the round, and and there was Neo getting one kill on two get right in the beginning as well. So that was a perfect gun round. Uh, I mean sorry, pistol round for from Virtus Pro. One to the good here on the CT side. They'll be looking to build up as much of an advantage as they can. Put that pressure on NIP. As uh, Freiburg chatting across to his teammates, they've, it's almost a timeout, make sure that they're ready. Looks like it might be, be a small technical hitch as well. But for NIP, they need to use this opportunity to steady those nerves, keep them calm. Yes, NIP, they have Heaton in the background, and he also has a lot of experience, and he's going to help them out into staying calm, just staying focused. Although there is problems, although the crowd is against them, they have to stay focused, because Virus Pro, they can be taken down by the five Swedes. Get right, Forest exists. They did it already on the big stages. Even though this one is extremely huge and the whole crowd is amazing, this is a very hard task to win two maps right now, but they can do it. Yes, they can. They're uh, waiting to see what's uh, caused this pause in between rounds. And uh, uh, Get Right, who has an issue. Get Right has a big part to play in this. He was up, uh, his kill death ratio was plus 80 or something crazy at the start of the yes. game. Uh, and he's done it by just attrition. It's not been one on fives that he's done 10 times in a row, but he's got twofers and threefers throughout the game. It's been a phenomenal, uh, throughout the tournament, it's been a phenomenal uh, play from him thus far, and they need him on tip-top form uh, if they are to claim this round. Yeah, they ha I mean, Gerai has to play his game style once again. He has to, <laughs> he has to um, be able to just lurk as he was doing in the previous games. Do you want us to sing the Rude Stanislaw? Is that what that uh, was suggesting? Because I tell you what, that's, you a, quick, that's a very or quick way to lose 180,000 viewers. <laughs> We can bring Sir Scoots, maybe? Yeah, Scoots has got a, a voice of an angel. He uh, used to be in a choir. Uh, anyway, uh, get right. Back to more serious matters. Yes, get right. He has to be looking again. And I'm really looking forward, forward to what he's going to offer. Because I know that Inferno is one of his best maps. He loves the map. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. But there's Pro, they are ready for everything. Neo sees action, his grenade picks up Freiburg, and his grenade did a hell of a lot of damage to all of those players coming up that catwalk, and Snacks will just help himself out. Snack, I mean, it's hard to pick from these uh, VP players who's been the best, but Snacks, Bjarli, they've certainly earned their place in this team. And it's Get Right who's left standing here, one on five, and here uh, is standing anymore. It's two to zero for Virtus Pro as they convert the pistol round into two and didn't lose a man either. Yeah, that was a complete lockdown of the B-bomb side. NIP, they had Kevlar's plus pistols, so that's a huge loss. Not even take one single man down from the first pro side. Now they have Glocks to work with. They won a Nico before only with Glocks and no Kevlar's on Mirage. So they could do it again, but now first pro, they're not going to lose it twice. Needs fly down towards the middle. This time Virtus Pro will. Sorry, this time NIP. 
beautiful split. Neo gets himself the opening frag onto Freiburg. Again, he's done that three rounds in a row. He is a man possessed on that banana area. He just owns it. And you know if you're going to come there. And the mental fact is that you know you're going to face him every time. Taz and Bialy help themselves to frags. And uh, Get Right will go down. You get the frag onto Taz, in fact, and uh, he's the last man standing. But uh, Bialy goes down and finishes off the job. To finish off that thought on the banana walkway and Neo. We saw it yesterday. He owned it. He dominated yes. it. And he's doing it again today. Freiburg's been picked off, I think, three rounds in a row by Neo on banana. What does that do when you know it's so, it's one man, it's, it's like a, a duel, a, a challenge you to a duel, sir, <laughs> going up banana? Well, it's going to be a hell of a match on this side of the game because on Banana, it's going to be Neo against Freiburg, and we know that those two players are capable of amazing things. And look at that, Virus Pro, they are going very aggressive once again. Pasha looking for anything he can see in the middle. Doesn't see anything, and uh, it'll be Bialy and Pasha with frags. Virtus Pro on NIP's first buy round have come alive as they. We follow up with Neo as he'll see Get Right. This is another challenge for Neo, which he comes down on top once again. Get Right misposition and Neo put him down. It's Forrest and Fifth Laren who are the next two. As they will meander up towards that A site. They're up against five players overall, and only Bialy's taken a slither of damage. The Virtus Pro players are just lined up and ready to go. And that's what they can do. Fifth Laren walked right between the crosshairs, and now it's Pasha oh. to finish off the round. That's a hat-trick. Virtus Pro on fire right now. And Pasha showing once again why he is one of the best players in the world, what he has been playing for more than 10 years now. He is sitting on five kills, and those three kills in this round, they were massive. He took an entry kill, and then he closed up the round. I think NIP were not ready to face Pasha with a sniper on Inferno. And that's what Virus Pro is saying. That is our map. We are taking the banana. We have a sniper in the middle. You can't even come here. It's going to be get right to chase with Freiburg up against Neo. They've reinforced Freiburg, but don't forget that Snacks is there with Neo as well. Freiburg down, get right. Trying to get off Banana as the Molotov will come in. That forces him to move. And they're just trying to finish off this frag because they know that there's blood at the bottom of Banana. But they won't get it. Get Right does get away. It's going to be a four-man A push now. Bialy and that Famas are ready to see action. Frag number one and two. And there's going to be three. Virtus Pro converting this save round into another. And again, we get set up with Exist in an unwinnable position. you got to feel for him. It's 5-0 VP. They are on fire. And Virtus Pro, that's what they have been doing throughout the whole tournament. They have extremely good start of sides. They are starting almost always up 5-0. And when you're playing against such a good team, if they have a 5-0 lead on both sides, it means they're already up 10-0 on the whole match. And coming back from a 10 rounds deficit against such a good team, that is something that is just a miracle. And he's opening five rounds. The pistol, we've only had one buy round. Well, we'll come to that in a second here. Freiburg gets himself a frag. Pasha goes down. That's a vital battle that they've won. There are two battles to win against VP. Neo on Banana and Pasha in the middle. Winning one opens up half of the map. Still a heck of a lot of other players that you've got to deal with, but it's half the battle done. And, uh... and that is one of the key rounds that Theaters Pro can afford to lose. Because after that, if they win the next round, then their, the money of NIP is going to be totally ruined. So that round doesn't matter that much for Virus Pro. It does matter for NIP because they need rounds in this half. But even though Virus Pro will lose here, well, they will. They may, may lose. They may lose. Even though they're weird to lose because they are man down, that would be a good thing for the whole side. Bialy opens up first frag to him, but Freiburg and Forest combine. NIP with a two man advantage. It's Snacks and Neo to save this. Snacks. Quivering in that A side as the bodies come towards him and he tries to unleash. But we'll have to settle for that first only frag as Neo will go one on three. Snacks actually didn't do a lot of damage. Freiburg's on half health, but Neo had a lot to go up against. And Bob Plant and the elimination. It'll be 5 1. NIP on the board and they're ready to kick off this game. And NIP are finally going back to their standards. They were all together. They just wanted to revenge each player. They lost one in the beginning when they were trying to do that A push, but then they revenged and Forrest got a kill as well as Freiburg. So that was just a textbook play from them. And Virus Pro now, this round is going to be capital. They have to win this one if they want to go even better in this half. Neo nades down. He, at the moment, that's a fight that NIP just don't want to take. 
And it's it's sacrificing Get Right as well. Get Right's the one that has to hold Banana, and you're taking out one of the best play, the probably the best player of the game, to to do that. So that's a, a happy trade for Virtus Pro, and they'll leave three on four on A every time because you've got to come to them. And there are plenty of crossfires. It's a I'm not going to say it's an easy site to defend, but it's a site where you can easily crossfire this mid position here, and two can take down three, or two can take down four. Let's see. Pierre Flaren will be the first man to run into what wasn't a crossfire. Finds himself with a Molotov that'll push him back. But you can see again, Snacks and Neo are going to go up against Get Right here on the banana. The bomb is making its way behind the Freiburg is there. Exist is going to cause as much noise as he can on A as Snacks is buying the bait. Taz gets himself that frag on to Exist though, and that'll change everything. Here comes Freiburg in towards the B site. Neo is there. Neo picks up Freiburg. He waits for Get Right to finish off his shot, and Get Right does with a plomb, picking off Neo, and the B site will be planted as Forrest and Get Right will hold on. Fiflaren is going to play a big role in here. He's lurking through. CT spawn, waiting to see if anyone else is coming from A. They're not, and he gets over towards that site where Forrest is nading. And Fiflaren ready to come in from behind. Get right, headshot, down goes Basher. We're in three on three after plant here, and Virtus Pro players are falling like flies as Fiflaren does connect with a big frag onto Bialy. Sorry, it was Forrest who got the frag onto Bialy, and now it's Taz and Snacks to try and recover. Snacks does so. Big frag, Fiflaren out with two on two, but the bomb ticking louder and louder, and I don't think Virtus Pro are going to be able to do this one. And Taz will escape. Will VP chase him out? So will NIP chase him out? That has been their, their play. And Taz ready for that. He wants to make it expensive as well. But in the end, both players will escape. In NIP with two rounds in a row now. Yes, and NIP, once again, textbook play. They were four against one player onto the B-bomb side. And get right getting very huge. And he is the key player. If now NIP wants to go back against Ferris Pro and take the lead, then Get right, that is the kind of play he needs to do. He had three kills, he thought he locked down the, e the B bomb site, sorry. That was just textbook play, and then Get right with his incredible individual performance. Just The key moment there was that Snacks bought the fake on A. He yes. came out of B, left it into, left Neo in that one on two. And Exist, even though he died, he did a perfect job of being a target. Yes, the, the tactic was very good from NIP. Exist just went in a pit all alone and Snacks was obliged to fall back because there were smokes everywhere. They couldn't really take information. They only saw one guy, so it might be there, it might not be. Neo, he had a Molotov in Banana and that's why he was alone. He was able to buy time, but NIP, they just went through it. And even though they were all half HP after going through it, well, they had the bomb site and they were three on four. With, um, they were even four on four with Fiflarin going in the back. Here we go, Fiflarin ready to push in towards that A site and lead the charge. NIP have made their way forward and come out all guns blazing, but the guns are firing back from Virtus Pro. Three down for NIP, and that'll be a fourth to follow. It's Forest or bust for NIP, and Bialy makes it bust. That's 6-2, Virtus Pro stop the rot and uh, pick themselves up their next round, and that's an excellent performance from them. And once again, perfect round from Virtus Pro. They were waiting for NIP and they just all came into the crosser. They had Molotov into the bombsite, flashes, smokes. NIP were just going blindlessly onto this bombsite and there's Pro, well, they just had their weapon in hand. They had to wait for them. And that was just, that just looked so easy for them. Molotov down from Snacks, and he will push out. It's a uh, two Galil by here from uh, NIP and get right picked off by Snacks. Yeah. He'll then retreat, but he's got Neo to help him out as well. Remember, that's a that's just a place you don't wow. want to go. Freiburg down, and uh, B is on lockdown. That is just crazy. I think every single team after this event and every single player is just going to watch all those replays from Vers Pro. They are having their best game probably on on CS:GO, and they're just showing why they're here, why they are in the final, why they took one lap away already. Here we go, it's going to be his chance to get himself one. Pasha follows in, Exist picked off, and Pasha will finish off the job. And Virtus Pro, five to the good now. This is this is a dream come true for them. Oh yes, they are in their best game. And now look at that, NIP, they don't have any money anymore. So it's probably going to be another easy round for Virtus Pro. And they will go up 8-2. to two. 
Let's take this opportunity with it being a, an eco round to tune into Virtus Pro's comms once more yes. and uh, give the home crowd some insight into what's going on over there. So here we go. Let's have a listen to Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro pick up the round in style as they claim five Swedish players and we're ten rounds in and I'm, I'm still waiting for the real NIP to connect. Yes, it just looks like NIP are not playing up to their standards. They have been trying to do some tactics but they are not playing. I mean, they played one round that they won where they played all stacked together and the second one was kind of the same. They need to do that once again. They know probably how to go into these rounds and now they're going to be two onto Banana. Taz is going to charge a long way down here. He will see action as uh, there's Forrest just down there. Bialy's going to go looking for him as well. Garrett gets himself a frag and Taz might think twice about where he is here. Will he be expecting more players in because Pasha's got down. Get right helps himself to that but Taz with the frag onto Forrest will challenge Get right who has two kills to his name in this house. And will decide the bomb site will be savable. NIP actually going to rotate back and Neo will see if Laren exists and Freiburg coming his way. And this will be an interesting choice. Freiburg's going to try and pull out Neo who just stands his ground and loses it. Freiburg gets the headshot. NIP have the B-bomb site under control. Snacks is going to try and make his way all the way around there. And Taz with the frag on to get right will say, well, what was Get Right doing? He wasn't actually rotating around. He wasn't moving with the site. And that may signal to Taz that there's more going on than meets the eye. Fifth Laren will now rotate and they will go over towards that site. Taz has a snacks. Can see B. I wouldn't say he has it. And I look at that, even NIP, they don't look very safe about where to go. Even though they have Freiburg in a perfect position, they have no information. He might just have gone straight to the bomb site and now they are going to face snacks. Snacks will. Beast, if he can, but he's taken some damage. They know where he is. He's held up, and that's allowed. Well, Taz was a little bit slow to rotate, but he's going to go up towards Banana, and we're going to see a two-on-three after plant here. And IP to lock down. Exist is waiting for Taz, who will come charging up, and Pete sent charging back. Headshot picks him off. Snacks gets one back onto Exist. He's going to have to go monumentally huge here if he wants to win this one. But uh, with the bomb ticking faster and faster, he's between a rock and a hard place and uh, won't get out of there. It's going to be 8-3. NIP pick themselves up, but their third round of this T side. And now that is very better round from NIP. Even though they were 4-2, and two, they, lose, they lose get right in the apartments. It looks like Virus Pro has got the information, but no, because that was only one guy. And that's get right. Get right could be anywhere. That's the point. And Virus Pro now, you can see that Pasha is back on the sniper. This run is going to be a key run once again because NIP, they almost have no money. That play from Get Right is what we have to see a lot more of. Him being yes. locked into this wall with Neo is a waste. Him being free, a free spirit that can go anywhere on the map and pick up two kills, that's what NIP need. They need to unleash, unchain Get Right. Yes, that is the strength of Get Right. If you can let him free, do whatever he wants, he will always come in the best timing and just win rounds on his own. Asher waiting for someone to come through the smoke. It's uh, Get Right, who may be the first to show, but he's uh, just to the left. Virtus Pro, without any real intelligence here of where an IP are. Freiburg and Exist are up on Banana. It's a three man push that'll come into A that's actually going to counter rotate and go all the way back. And. Uh, there's Pro, they still have a smoke, they still have two Molotov to work with, so it's going to be extremely hard for NIP to go on this bomb site, but it looks like they don't want to change. They're going to make this push. And uh, Snacks and Neo will have to hold off against five here. And here we go, there is that first Molotov, and they'll charge into the fire that is Neo. Two big friends for him. Snacks is going to join the party with two of his own, and it exists again in a one on three as he has the first that was snacked. He has plenty of health to play with, he has the bomb, but boy, are you asking for something special here? As he will go up against the team in the form of their life right now and uh, push in and get picked off by Pasha and NIP are falling very far from grace right now. <laughs> Virus Pro is just playing the perfect game. They won another key round in amazing fashion and look at that 9-3. 
NIP, they have no money to work with once again, and it might just go extremely one-sided, and VS Pro, they just seem unstoppable. If you've never watched CS before, this is an upset of biblical proportions. And that was more than 200,000 viewers yeah. on the stream, so thank you everyone who is following and enjoying as much as us. Neo goes down, gets himself a kill onto Freiburg and pushes in. I mean, from where we're going to be here on an assumption that uh, Virtus Pro can convert this eco round, from where we're going to be, it'll be 10 to 3. It's a nightmare scenario for NAP, but it could be one of the greatest comebacks ever if they were to pull it off. Yes, if they can do it, obviously it would be one of the nicest. And look at that, Virtus Pro, they are just running on the map. They are in a manhunt. They want to kill everyone. They want to. They want to just do what they just did. They want to just let no chance for NIP to talk or to do whatever. 10 3, two rounds to go. I just feel that they are going to take it. You're listening to the expert opinion of MBK from Team Titan, who have faced off against NIP so many times. Yes. Have you seen an NIP like this who are so stressed, so far from their normal greatness? Yeah, it just looks like they are not playing their game. They don't seem very high, they just seem very calm, which can be a good thing, but if they want to come back, they need the high. They need, they need to just feel as one. And so far, they have been dying one per one on the side of the map. They need to continue playing stack altogether because that worked extremely great in two or three ones that they did. But it just looks like we're not looking at NIP. Pasha lying in wait for people to come through middle. Get right sat deep in that round and uh, was wondering whether Neo or Snacks might push all the way down and try and come behind. But it uh, didn't happen and he'll join the NIP raiding party on this A site in uh, just a moment. He's the one with the bomb, in fact, and it's going to be a five on three in towards that A site. Pasha bound to see action any second now as Freiburg will come through. They ping out a flash. Pasha's flashed as well. That will allow Freiburg to round the corner, but it won't allow him to get any oh. further. Pasha unleashes hell. Has NIP come back with two of their own? Exist claims two before Pasha gets his hat trick. He gets the fourth. This is sensational play from Pasha. He's picked off by Get Right in the end, who's going to have to go big here. He puts the bomb down. There's a Molotov coming his way as he'll get out of there, and then we'll get dropped by Snacks. Oh. And what you need in moments like this are big, big players. And Virtus Pro's big players are showing up. And once again, Pasha, have you seen that? He killed the first one. No scopes the second one. Killed the third one apartments and then uses his pistol to finish the runs off. And look at that pass. It looks like he can't even believe it. Everything is going their way. They are winning even to three. And the crowd is just enjoying that. If this wasn't the magic of Virtus Pro, if this wasn't the hometown crowd, you'd actually say this is a slaughter. You would forget the underdog story. You would forget everything. But it is everything you want and more as we go into the last round of the half. And look at that. Even Snack is playing with his weapons on the floor. He wants to be ready for everything. He has three guns to play with. <laughs> Good luck with that. Here we go. Coming up B will be... Forrest has gone a long way in as uh, Getright gets dropped and Forrest will try to come through CT's board as Neo and Snacks get frag after frag. There is Forrest with the frag onto Pasha that will just add an air of doubt. Freiburg and Fifth Laren come back. Bialy and uh, Taz are a long way down here. Let's see whether Bialy will see Fifth Laren as he comes charging around the corner and Fifth Laren gets the frag. This is an opportunity for NIP. They're three on three with... Really, the agenda, the agenda set themselves as they try to go in towards A. Taz has been warned off that this is Forrest Pitt, and he is not giving it up. Bomb planted, NIP. This is theirs to lose now. Let's see whether the Virtus Pro side can reclaim. Taz with the smoke to allow him to charge in. He'll then nade down. They know that Forrest is there. As Taz comes in, and Forrest delivers. Forrest trying to drag NIP back into this game. Freiburg helps as well, and now it's three on one. It's Snacks versus three. What can he do? He pushes in, gets a headshot onto Freiburg, but Fifth Laren picks it up. And that was Forrest at his very best. Yeah, Forrest, even though he wasn't a very high on his cobalt, he always picks up the good kills. And once again, NIP, they took the bomb side. They were in a three on three, and they won it. So all the clutchy situations, where for them. And that is a pretty good sign going into the second half. Even though they are down 11 to 4, if they can take the piss around, the comeback is totally possible because they are extremely good on the city side. But look at that. Virus Pro, they are just chilling. They feel very confident. They are in their game. It just looks like 
they prepared for this the whole time. 216,000 people watching and all of you in the crowd, thank you for joining us. This is the EMS1 Katowice final, a prize pool of a quarter of a million dollars, which will be won by one of these two teams who'll take home a first prize check of $100,000. A fantastic job by everybody involved who's made this possible. And kid, do not kid yourself. NIP can come back. Yes, this game is far from over. And NIP, if they can start picking the key rounds they need, then the comeback is totally possible. So we will see. Will they go once again on the city side with their four capital tactic? It hasn't worked that great against first pro. So maybe they need some changes. But maybe they just feel confident, even though they've done 11-4 on the city side. Everything is to come. Everything is to come. Taz, possibly the nicest man in esports, is five rounds away from dream come true land. Yes. And a return to grace. The reason why Virtus Pro is so popular in, in and amongst this esports land is because karma comes back. The f <laughs> they had five years of glory, three WCGs, two ESWCs, one IEM, but karma bit them in the backside. They then had you know, years of desolation with, you know, mistreated. They were, they, they had a nightmare scenario with a number of teams. And now they're in Virtus Pro. I actually spoke to one of the Virtus Pro managers, Yuri, a while ago, and he said, I had a number of choices to pick from, but these guys just have something. I've known them forever. Yes. You know, Virtus Pro, long time ago, were the force in Russian CS. I remember casting them on Cobble so long ago. That used to kind of be their map. Uh, but now they're back with a Polish team who are doing them proud and doing that brand proud. And let's see whether Karma will come back for them. Or let's see whether the brilliance of NIP will come back. Yes. We'll see. NIP know that a win on this pistol round would set them up for that comeback. Fifth Laren is going to see three players at the top of Banana who then instantly pull back. Get right. Was thinking about rotating, but Neo still has the ball on Banana. Virtus Pro through three players up towards A. This is a double rotation, actually. Stax gets himself a headshot onto Forest. The bomb still on Banana. They're going to come in towards Phil Flaren and Freiburg once more. And NIP, smart to this. They haven't actually moved any of their positions based off what they've seen. Freiburg headshot drops Pasha. Stax, second frag of the round. Get right down. And it'll all be on Phil Flaren to deliver. He gets the first. Bjarni goes down. And Stax still occupying many a player on that uh, A site. Well, by many, I mean exist. And he and Neo alive, but with no health. They have 30 and 9. Freiburg still on full. With a kit. Exist on 22. And Exist with a, head, with a kill onto Snacks. Beautiful stuff from him. And now Neo, one on two. The man that really can in a situation like this for Virtus Pro, with the crowd on his shoulders, will push in. Exist sits deep, makes himself hard to find, uses the clock as well, which will work against him. 20 seconds to go and Exist delivers a big, big round for NIP. And that's what we were talking about. NIP, even though they are I mean, they were, they are done 11 to 4, now 11 to 5. The pistol round was very calm. Even though Forrest lost the round, I mean, died in the beginning of the round, all the NIP, for, the NIP players, I just can't even talk anymore. <laughs> All the NIP players are just keeping their cool and that is going extremely great for them. 11-5. The window of opportunity for NIP is open now. They must convert this, but... So, well-stacked eco round from VP. Though they have taken ne damage to Bialy and Neo, which will make them a bit more bite-size as the Bomb and VP players make their way up towards the B site, where Get Right and Freiburg, who Freiburg in particular had a great round last time, but Snacks oh. picking up where he left off. Two frags, Forrest, Fifth Laren, both go down. Here come VP now towards the B site. It's all on Freiburg to deliver something big here. And Get Right with the Famous gets himself the next. Exist helps himself out as well, but VP have got three frags in this round, and Get Right stops Pasha. Exist, grenade onto Bialy, and the Swedes say, guys, you've had your fun now. We're going to close this one out. Well, but that was. That was, a, in my opinion, a huge mistake by Virus Pro. They weren't committed to the A-bomb side so far, and Snacks got two immense kills onto the A-bomb side. And Virus Pro, they had the whole time to fall back, go onto the A-bomb side. So maybe they thought that the rotation was going to happen from B to A, coming from NIP. But Freiburg and Exist, uh, they were here, locking down the bomb side. 
Snacks happy to have a Famas out of this round. And, you know, remembering that this is an eco round, although it, they, they bought armor, remembering this is an eco round, forcing three men down, there are some, you know, there are some points there. After all, it is still a very, very good round for Virus Pro, but they could have won it if it made a good choice. 11-6, the deficit now closing to five. As Virtus Pro will be with a Famous, courtesy of Snacks, but uh, it'll be about it for them against two and fours and three Famouses for NIP. NIP who went home and last night and practice, 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 watch demo after demo after demo. They did it by the book. You can't fault their preparation, you can't fault their commitment. But they have come up against a team possessed. Virtus Pro will make their way into Freiburg's B-bomb site right now. There's the Molotov, falls short actually, neither Get Right or Freiburg were there. And Freiburg and his famous get themselves the opening frag. It's Bialy that will go down. Get Right will retreat as he's flashed, but Freiburg helps himself to his second frag and his third. Freiburg has stopped. The Rot snacks his Famous is the only thing standing between VP in this round, and he has got two. It's Get Right and it's Freiburg that have poked down for Virtus Pro, but Snacks will help himself to the third frag. Snacks going huge there, making it as expensive as he possibly could. Freiburg, though, will be happy to have claimed those frags, and it's 11 7 now. The pistol round successfully, if not expensively, converted, and VP now have a full buy. And that was a very, very good play by Snacks on both eco rounds. Now you can see about NIP, they have their gun, they are fully equipped, but they have almost no money in the bank. So this round is a must win for First Pro. One man leads a charge of Virtus Pro that turns into a 10,000 person chant of Virtus Pro. You guys are incredible. Here goes Taz of Virtus Pro to need the push. Four VP players over on the A side of the map. Pasha meandered up the banana walkway, but will rejoin in mid. With Freiburg and get right over at B. And uh, exist Fifth Laren and Forest waiting for them today. We're about to see the nades come in. Now, this didn't work yesterday. We saw this twice from yes. VP yesterday against LGB, and it didn't work. Let's see if it's third time lucky, whether they've changed anything as they'll Push in now. They wait for the smokes to do their job. They edge around the corner with Bialy. Bialy will try to give the all clear and Virtus Pro push in with snacks as uh, they go in. Still no movement from either Freiburg or Get Right, by the way. Bomb quickly planted with barely a shot fired in anger. Actually, great play from Virtus Pro. That did work. Freiburg and Get Right now moving in NIP. Don't want to commit until they've got all five players there, but they're going to have to because the bomb is ticking as Get Right now joins the party. As uh, Freiburg loses a lot of health, as does Get Right, but Taz down and out. Here's Freiburg. Surely he can. No, he can't. Exist has got one, but Virtus Pro have got three. Exist has his second frag. We're in 2v2. Nobody He's got much health to play with as Pasha will go down. Bialy's there, it's Pasha that's left standing. Bomb defused by Fifth Laren. And Pasha, with his two points of health, will try to do damage and does get himself a kill. But a must win round for NIP was won. And now the comeback is totally real. NIP, they must feel very great after winning this round because it was very hard. They were 5 and 5, bomb planted. No HP dropped on both sides. And they managed to take. Back the bomb, defuse it, and still end up two on one. Talk us how they got to plant so quickly, the work, the job of the smokes. Well, basically with the smokes, they totally blocked the quad and everything that could be, that could be happening. They planted bomb on the A bomb site in a very, very little spot. And then they were all hiding in middle and in apartments. So NIP couldn't see anything, they couldn't, they could barely hear the, the one guy planning. And then it was just a five on five, basically with 35 seconds to be played. They had to just stack up, and they have to be very careful, careful in everything they were doing. And it was a great retake as a result. That was a very great retake. NIP, they smoked off the choke points. They flashed the good places. They even think had the Molotov. So they could just counter Virus Pro extremely well at this point. But you know, that could have gone either way, because the killer's exchange was just crazy. It was three for two, and then one for one, and then that was a two for one in the end. Definitely a round to analyze for the guys at the end, you'd think. Yes, definitely. That's going to be very good to analyze. 
as Forrest will see Snacks in just a moment. He's flashed, but he's holds his ground. Snacks will come out. Now Neo and Exist will trade frags on either side as Exist is having a great game. He's really trying to pull NIP through here as uh, Forrest with the headshot onto Taz. NIP un unable to prevent the bomb plant today. And Bialy's headshot onto Exist will make this a much harder scenario. Two rounds, two bomb plants on A. Reinforcements coming with Get Right and Freiburg. Forrest has a headshot on towards Neo and NIP are a three on two now as uh, they'll push in with Forrest still holding that pit and stopping any movement. Forrest is on fire in that pit. He has two kills and now may help himself to the third to help out his buddy here. He does. Forrest, great play. Extremely good play by Forrest. He just held the pit. And there's Pro, you can see they were just hiding in the middle because they had no place to be. Forrest in the pit, the backup coming from the outside. They only had two spots to be in. That was apartment and that was quad. And Forrest from the pit, he could hold both. So Gerard just went straight to the bomb, defused it in five seconds, and Various Pro didn't have time to even see the face of Gerard defusing. Two bomb plants and, what, nine frags in those two rounds meant, despite losing, VP had been able to buy every time. Yes, yeah, so that is a very, very massive thing. They can buy and they make no easy round for NIP. So even though the comeback is 100% real, that's going to be tough, because Various Pro, they are buying 24-7. Virtus Pro have four players making their way up Banana with Snacks at the rear making it five now. They've now made their move. It's going to be Neo to lead the charge in as the fire comes in from places they just can't see. Bialy will push in as Get Right with a headshot on towards Taz and a second on to Snacks. Get Right delivering here. Exist is in and they're just in the nick of time to pick off Bialy and the two on that site did their job. They traded and they allowed Exist to come in and that will get them in a two on three after plant with NIP players on full health and Neo on just four. No, Pasha has to go big. Nasha will nade over to where Exist is coming from, but Neo will get the headshot on towards Exist. Four health points is plenty for a player like Neo! Big for a headshot onto Fifth Laren. Neo's four health points are going to be tested now by Forrest. One on two. Two of the biggest players in the game. Neo gets the headshot. I do not believe it. Four points of health. Who cares? Three headshots. One by one by one. Neo delivers for Virtus Pro. A round they had no right to win. Oh, 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 that was a massive run by Neo, and that was one of the key rounds. Everyone is clapping, even here in Acosta's area. That is insane from Neo. And now look at that. That was such a key round. NIP is saving. So that might be Virtus Pro's round. And they might be going 13 to 9. But watch out. Forrest, M4. He can do anything he wants. And interestingly, they've moved Forrest with that M4 into B, despite and not move either of Freiburg or Get Right. Yes, that, they just want to be sure that the B bomb side can't be touched. And and coming back into the whole side, and Virus Pro, they were able to plant the bomb almost every round. They took down at least three or four NIP players, and that's why now NIP has to say they lost so many round, so many players in every single round. That was key play from Virus Pro and. They are just playing so well right now. It is 12-9. With momentum, we talked about a comeback. But as momentum gets stopped, we look at it being only four rounds to go. Neo picks off Freiber, get right down. Here comes Forrest! No, Neo got, drops the key man in that B site. And Virtus Pro are gonna win themselves this next round. And it's 13-9. They now need just three to be the EMS champions. It is getting closer and closer. And regarding how Fierce Pro is playing well, I can't hardly see it happening. But NIP, they are buying. They are not done yet. And they want to show the whole crowd that they can do it. They can give Fierce Pro a run for the money. 13-9. NIP still in this. At 230,000 people watching online, that number just gets bigger and bigger. CS claims its rightful place atop the tree of eSports. Svirtus Pro will push in. They have the confidence, they have the fans. But NIP have given real reason for caution, despite those last two rounds being traded. Remember, we were at 11-9 at one point. We were really close. Yes, but now Svirtus Pro 
this is once, oh, I mean, especially for NIP, this is a must win because, first of all, they can't let Vespro go too close to the end of the game. They must not let them having 15 rounds. And they can't lose this round because they would be too short on money. If they lose this and then lose an eco, it's 15. Yes, so that would be so close. But look at that. There's Pro once again making the perfect play so far. Freiburg all alone in B. Definitely someone who will not be phased. Oh. Neo's headshot. Good night, Freiburg. And he'll push into CT's board and he'll look for a second. Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, have no doubt, Neo is back in business. Snacks gets the next one, get right goes down. NIP have two on five. They are in real trouble here. And the bomb goes down to add insult to injury. Fifth Laren is down and NIP could sink without Trace here. They're going to go to the last chance saloon. I have no words so far for the performance of Vitus Pro. They are playing the perfect Counter-Strike game. They are facing NIP, the most successful CSGO team in, in all times. And they are, are playing them round after round. And now the NIP, they need a miracle. Look at their weapons. They have nothing to work with. 14-9. NIP do not want to be the team that comes second. No, they don't. Two quarter of a million dollar tournaments in a row. That's not a tag you want. No, they want the victory. These guys are fighters. They want the trophy, they want to take it home, and they want to do it with great fashion. So if they have to come back, that must be now. Virtus Pro with the bomb on the backpack of Neo, who is... I mean, it, the problem is, who do you pick out from this Virtus Pro player and say, well, yes. he was the man of the tournament? Because you can say so many times that so many people on this VP side have just carried them through rounds just, just with individual brilliance. Look at that once again, perfect smokes and perfect play from Virtus Pro. They are just going very confident into the bomb side. Bialy pushes in. It's going to take something special. And that was a big hit from NIP. They take uh, Bialy down to 13 points of health and Exist finishes off the job. Bialy coming around the side, gets it down. Exist. Oh, oh Exist! That is sensational from him. Freiburg comes in with another. Fifth Larry goes down and Exist take a bow. That was marvelous play. And big moments like that need big players. And now NIP, they are back. They wanted this run and Exist just carried his whole team. And now room is up for a comeback because they have weapons again, they have confidence, and they just need to outplay Virus Pro on a few rounds to be able to actually come back and win this map. Oh, exist. Things you did to my heart. <laughs> That's not much on everything. NIP 10, Virtus Pro 14. Virtus Pro one map in the bag, two rounds away from glory. But NIP with a legacy. A legacy they have no plan on giving up. This entire conversation was unthinkable just days ago. Let's see what VP have to offer here. They'll nade in and say, this is exactly what worked for them earlier. Got them that quick plant, those smokes just cover off. And NIP pushed Forrest up to try and counter that, but it didn't work. And the only time it worked for NIP to hold on was when Forrest was in the pit. So there could be a real problem here for them, as it'll be Pasha to go in now. Snacks has control of the pit and we'll see his teammate. And Virtus Pro have Neo in the bomb site trying to plant. Bialy puts a headshot on to exist. And it's Bialy to hold on to that site with the help of Snacks. Pasha's there as well. And NIP have to save five match points. Once again, perfect round from NIP, uh, from first pro, I'm sorry. They are playing out of their mind. They are on point with their aim. They are having the best tactics, attacking the perfect timing in the bomb sites. Everything is going their way. That is 100% their tournament. They can't afford to lose this map. But NIP, five runs to win now. They need another player stepping out like Exist did in the last round. And with what weapons? That's the point there once again, have no weapons to work with. But get right 
is a man that can. Exist is a man that can. These are players that can and have dug teams out of ruts. History books have not yet been written. Pasha will be at the top of the banana walkway. Snacks is there to help him out with the bomb. Neo is going to try and pull players from mid. Bomb's been tossed down to the bottom of the banana and Taz will pick it up. Neo's going deep on his own, but the rest of the players are over at B. And Snacks will be the man that'll lead this push in and he'll get a headshot on to get right. And they're four frags away from victory now. It's Freiburg still in there though. Freiburg's not gone. And he will show himself at the right moment, which is a headshot onto Bialy. He will eventually go down at the hands of Pasha. They're three frags away now, Virtus Pro, as they will move the bomb in. And it'll be Fifth Laren and Exist to come charging in. And Snacks to go mowing them down. One more will do it for Virtus Pro. It's all on Forest. He gets the first. He doesn't get the second. And MBK, your thoughts on that win? That was just a masterclass from Ferris Pro. Look at that, they are extremely happy, and I think they are even happier knowing that they totally outplay NIP. That was an immense game, and look at that. The whole crowd, it's a whole standing invasion from everyone, and Ferris Pro, they are just too happy. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your EMS1 Canavita champions, Virtus Pro!